Well, I'm up. <clears throat> I'm up to do some gaming, so that's what's being done. It did. It does seem sometimes that <clears throat> this is the routine, and even though it's the day off, the routine continues. Because some of the necessities of gaming, particularly if you're playing a very long uh, 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 game that uh, requires an enormous amount of strategy, these games last for months and even years. It is not a quick point-and-shoot game where you can be finished, uh, well, some of these will play for 12 hours, but and there's they, they just sort of end-to-end. -end. Uh, but this is something that's long, it's protracted. Uh, this is the indication of nerd gaming. Nerd gaming is, is a lot longer game. It does require strategy. I'm talking more about Lord's Mobile. The key to success in Lord's Mobile is not the quick succession of win, 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 but rather longevity. It's more of an endurance game. If you can survive more than two months in this game, you're doing good. Most people uh, knock out within a month. <coughs> Six months is very rare. I'm almost a year on the game, so yay for that. So I'm above where most people are. And uh, my claim to fame is my, my castle levels are up very high. Work uh, we're at uh, uh, we're at uh, the level twenty five. That's the highest level. I'm still. It does take a while to bring everything up to the tw the fully twenty five. But so I'm in the twenty five level range. It's just that not everything is up to twenty five <sighs> because it does it does require a bit of time, particularly if you're free to play. Uh, it does require a bit of time to sort of come into <clears throat> uh, the necessities to bring everything up to level 25. So uh, there's still uh, <clears throat> avenues I haven't finished yet. So, And it requires that almost every six hours you have to go in and uh, fix up your, your, your castle uh, so that you can get to the next level. Every six hours you do an improvement. And this uh, includes, even if you get hit by somebody else and you get attacked by somebody else, the sense here is that it's not a total win. It's the, called the net gain. You will have wins and you're going to have losses. And if you have more wins than you have losses, that's good. If you're neutral, then that's not so good. But if you're losing more than, you, than you're winning, then you now need to sort of uh, uh, adjust your strategy. And this is what happens. People find it tiring to continue to to, to focus uh, on a particular task for for too long. And this is the problem, actually, with observation. Observation is again, it's endurance, it's long term. So a lot of this, the game uh, World Mobile, actually matches up with the requirements for long for for long term research. Uh, well. The Laura's mobile in terms of its progress is measured in months. Uh, the observation work sometimes is measured in years. And so in between the years, the months you have in between the years, uh, seems like you're not moving at all. It just seems very, you know, well, everyone, everyone else is out hustling and bustling and you're sitting in your rocking chair and having a leisurely life. But... Uh, that's not necessarily the case. It's just that the longevity required to get to where you need to get to in observation is simply not immediate. It's not. As, it, it, it's further out than the uh, than you would have in a standard person's life. So, uh, as I said it, it does set you off to the side. It puts you, particularly because the information is so large and you're going so far out into unknown knowledge, uh, it puts you right back in middle school again. So, as an adult, and you're sitting with other adults, you seem out of place. The things you think about and the things that you're, that you're, you're interested in. Uh, 
this doesn't seem to be uh, compatible with what, what, what the other adults are doing. Uh, but then again, if you're sitting with kids and your interests are more or less aligned, you're getting out of the normal because you're big. <laughs> you're not, in terms of the physical terms, you're not a kid anymore. And so there is that sort of that, that uh, discrepancy there. That, and, and so no matter where you're sitting, you seem to be on the outside. And that's what gives you the perspective of always uh, being outside and not necessarily being part of the crowd. But then again, that, that, that's true if you're an individualist. If you're an individualist and you don't fit into any particular group, then that's, the, that's your experience. That's how you approach things. Anyways, uh, it's time to get on to the gaming. It's Labor Day today, uh, although you'll probably be seeing this about a month from now, because things are still far behind, and I've still got to do some, i got to do, I'm uploading every day, I'm managing to upload every day, uh, and my uh, visibility is growing, but it's going to take some time. Alright, I'll see you, uh, oh, this is, well, because this, this is the beginning, this is the beginning for, uh, <laughs> I should have mentioned this at the, at the start. This is the beginning for uh, 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 Monday's vlog, and it's uh, September 7th. Let me just check. Yep, September 7th. So this is the begin. This is the opening uh, opening segment for uh, for uh, Monday's vlog. Well, you always learn something. It's uh, a never-ending process. It's uh, just about five minutes after midnight. Uh, if you're doing on a 24-hour clock, because there's 24 hours in a day, it's uh, just five minutes or six minutes into the day. So it's zero. It's zero o'clock and oh six minutes. And the military time tells you it's oh six hundred or something like that. I use the hundreds, but I don't remember being anything more than 24 hours. So, if you're talking about 24 hour clock, it's uh, right now it's zero hour and six minutes. That's the time. I'm not ending the vlog, but uh, we are sort of coming back for a bit of an update and uh, a brief little chat. I just set up uh, part of. It's supposed to be security cams. Uh, that record sound and everything. Uh, I was surprised that it does record quite well in the dark. Uh, so you can do a recording in the dark. It's got uh, a, a, almost a zero lux uh, capacity. So I'm going to set one up where I sleep because I want to just see what's going on while I'm sleeping. Uh, and that will become a sleep camera and it will record how I sleep and, you know, what goes on during the night? Uh, so that's what I've, that's. Uh, I haven't set that up, but that's a goal eventually. This one is is set up at the front door, so I record out the window. It doesn't do work too well at night because the internal reflection uh, coming in uh, sort of uh, cuts the ability of the camera to see out. So it, instead, it records the reflection coming in. Rather than recording the uh, the, uh, the the what you would see out if you if your eye looked out the window, your eye would adjust to see what's outside the window. Uh, the camera eye doesn't make that adjustment. It can't make that adjustment. So uh, it is interesting though. But I'll be able to film during the day. So if there's if there's a storm during the day, I'll be able to film it. I'll be able to sort of uh, uh, take pictures of it. And that's kind of one of the things I wanted to do is add in uh, some of the storm footage because I am doing atmospheric physics. So uh, there's no reason why I couldn't add in storm footage into here. Uh, just the way I have some of the sky, early morning sky, I could do the, sort of do the same thing here with uh, with the uh, uh, footage from the uh, from the camera. So it would be an interesting thing to sort of see whether or not I can do this. How I'm going to manage the space and you know and the time. Uh, there's a number of different issues that have to be worked out, but uh, this will sort of lead me into October, the October time frame, uh, where I'll be able to get a, uh, 
an outdoor camera and a solar setup that will that will recharge the camera that camera's battery during the day uh, and give me enough power for the nighttime. So uh, the goal will be to see so you, you know, how this works and how it sort of you, you can sort of do different setups and uh, work from there. Anyways, I just finished uh, the Yaoi vlogs. Uh, they were uh, uh, still cleaning up from the flood. The whole town they're in uh, got messed up. And they were saying, well, you know, it's not a floodplain. But the thing is, in a desert, when if you're going into the desert environment, no matter where you go in the desert, the flood zones are everywhere. There isn't a specific spot for a flood. And, and then people say, oh, well, we're not in a flood zone. But the thing is that what do we consider to be a flood zone? And if you understand the history of how these events work on Earth, you can al you can almost classify. Excuse me. You can almost classify any area as a flood zone. And if they're they're wondering what's going to happen with their insurance and all time insurance. This is why you actually you should need insurance it's for fires, for floods, and stuff like that. But it's not natural disasters. But insurance, is, insurance right now is trying to back off and see if it's, it, it make as much money as it possibly can. So it tends not to want to pay out uh, for these sort of natural disasters or uh, uh, what we call unfrequent events. If, 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 because it, it doesn't happen often. In other words, it may hit here now. It may not happen again for another 30, 40 years. So by the time you pay out the amount you pay for insurance... Uh, 30, 40 years later, for it to happen again, it's not going to have an impact on the insurance company in as much as it would have uh, if it were on a year-to-year -year basis. So, but that's that's a, that's how, how the uh, that's how the uh, does it work. The thing is, they're managing. They're, they're they are pushing through uh, the, uh, the 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 the. Well, the thing is, is it life always thir as I said, life always throws you a curveball. It always makes things difficult. It doesn't matter what you're doing, whether it's good or bad, you, or, 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 or whatever it is. There are always difficulties. You go in thinking one thing with an expectation, but then something else actually happens, and you have to deal with that shift in expectation uh, due to a number of factors, and there, there are no way. There is no way to predict what factors are going to affect the decisions you're going to have to make that day. Now, some people don't mind doing that. Like, if you're in exploration, uh, you're doing exploration science the way I'm doing exploration science, then you're going out into the unknown. You're expecting these things to happen. It doesn't necessarily mean that you feel good about these things. It's just that you're expecting it to happen. That's part of your expectations is, oh, okay, this is... This is what what usually happens. You know, you I've been in this situation before. It's difficult, but slow things down, not panic, and you go through it step by step. And that's exactly what the, uh, what John is. And that's what what the mother is doing. Uh, I guess Sarah. That's what she's doing. Everyone is approaching it from a perspective that well, we can handle this, and that's what you have to do. It doesn't matter whether you feel like you're worth it or not. You know, they tell you at the end of every vlog, you are worth it. Uh, my thing is, it doesn't matter whether you're worth it or not, you keep going forward. There's no refunds. You you keep moving on. And this is what they actually do. This is what you're seeing them do. Is that regardless of the curveballs they're throwing, regardless of, of how they're feeling, they keep moving forward to resolve whatever problems or whatever issues pop up in their life. Anyways, I'll probably come back around 6 o'clock in the morning to close off the video. Because uh, I have to do some more gaming at that t point in time. Uh, so I'll probably um, close off the video in the, in the, uh, where, the gaming, where the gaming is in, on the front research desk. Anything you do, anything you try, particularly if it's new, 
is always going to cause problems. Anyways, it is uh, 6, 16, uh, I think it's, yeah, it's Tuesday morning. Let me give you the time and date stamp, okay. It's September 8th, Tuesday, September 8th, and we are ending the vlog for Monday. Uh, this is the end of the Labor Day vlog. Uh, as predicted, I was up around 4 o'clock to uh, uh, do some gaming. I ended up working on the network for a bit. Uh, also on the on my IP camera, which doesn't seem to be work. Ugh. It doesn't seem to be working right now, and it's going to require further troubleshooting. And at some point in time, when the troubleshooting stops working, and there are other aspects that, that need to be attended to, uh, you begin to stop, you, you stop working on the, whatever project you were working on. And uh, you get, you take a break from it, because sometimes you're working in such a manner that you're not actually paying attention to what you're doing, and it causes a significant amount of problem because you're just sort of, if you will, banging your head against banging your head against the wall. And so the smart move is to back off and wait a little, you know, go get some rest and come at, come back at it with a fresh approach. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. It really depends on what's wrong, how it's wrong, and then how to, how to resolve the problem. Uh, on many ways, it's an issue of uh, 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 looking for and connecting to the uh, so sort of the right information. And if you can't get the right information, figure out how to find it, and then work from there. And then be prepared. Be, pre be prepared that you're not going to find necessarily find the solution you're looking for. Uh, so this is sort of the the, 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 the sort of the reality of situations, and this is kind of, uh, you know, it's a, uh, the Yahweh vlogs and, and so on and so forth, when they run into problems, this is part, part of the issue. Finding the right solution, but sometimes you have to try multiple solutions in order before you get the right, before you get the right one. And of course, it makes you really tired because you know you go to bed around, let's say, one o'clock in the morning. I'm up by four. That's three hours worth. I've only had three hours worth of sleep, and so my eyes are still a little. They're they're not as attentive as they should be in terms of the way, in terms of where they're focusing. And so there is a, 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 a sort of a, a need to sort of push myself forward. Uh, I do have this sort of, you notice, a stuttering issue. Uh, and it's just I'm not necessarily sure what to say or how to say it. And sometimes when I'm very tired, I, I end up mumbling my words. And that's really a fatigue issue. And you're not sure how it comes out when you're filming it uh, for a vlog. Uh, I've stopped worrying about my appearance in terms of my hair and everything like that because there's not much I can do about that. I vlog and whenever I can vlog, and it's you, 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 it's the condition you're in at the time when you're vlogging. So uh, I don't frame or fix myself up for the vlog uh, in a manner that I don't do in, in the manner that I don't do for the remainder of the day. So this is how you get me. <sighs> <clears throat> sort of right out of bed uh, at my research desk working on several issues. Anyways, uh, it doesn't matter, in this case it doesn't matter how I'm feeling right now, whether I'm worth it or not. Uh, it's still no refunds and tomorrow we'll move forward uh, uh, well, really, tomorrow when I get up again, we'll move forward with uh, something else. 